Commentator Libby Purves warned that Maverick family members Prince Andrew and Prince Harry are the least of the firm's worries. Instead, she said, the real difficulty in the dynasty is Prince Charles. Speaking about Prince Andrew and Prince Harry, Moose Purves explained, thinking about these two Maverick family members, fading into irrelevance, I came to the slightly dismaying conclusion that if there is a real difficulty in the dynasty, it is the heir himself, Prince Charles. Even apart from the troublesome charity financial stuff, he's an elderly man, mid-70s, not a focus of modern informality like Prince William and Kate Middleton. She added, in family terms, the Queen is having a run of bad luck. It's not quite the Annus Horribilis, Princess Anne and the Wessexes work on, and the Cambridges are popular and dutiful. But the cloud over Charles, about foreign donations and associated misjudgments, hangs heavy. So does his tendency to meddle in matters that properly belong to a shared democracy, diplomacy or city planning. It is too easy for such reports, however moderate, to blur the view of his unquestioned good works with the Prince's trust and the fact that he was ahead of the curve over environmentalism. Prince Charles has faced controversy in recent weeks after it was alleged that his charitable foundation received a £1 million donation from the family of Osama bin Laden. According to the Sunday Times, Charles allegedly secured the money from Baka bin Laden and his brother Shafiq, half-brothers of the founder of Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, but Clarence House said the donation was accepted by the Prince of Wales's charitable fund and not Charles. A poll conducted by Ipsos for the Independent found that 42% of Britons think the Prince of Wales should step aside and let William take the throne when the Queen dies.